This how you bow loud. Look, Billy in your shooter group, a young groover. Make them come and do ya. Ain't start chopping screw ya. Yeah. Chopping screw ya. Yeah. Look, Billy here, young shooter group, a young groover. Make them come and do ya. Ain't start chopping screw ya. Yeah. Hey, man, we live on the back streets, man. YD man, the kid in this bitch. Let me get that turn, get you to turn that down a little bit for me, man. We live, man, on the back streets with your girl Cole, man. We got the homie YD, the kid in this bitch, man. Let the streets know who he is, man. Where you from? He good and what you got going, if you don't mind. Hey man, YD the kid, man. Y'all know who it is, man. Acres home finders, man. Y'all know okay. what time it is, man. Right out. The back streets to the front line, you know. Okay. In any hood, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, we out here doing this music. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who know me know what I'm, what I do and what what, what we what we here for for real for real. I feel it, man. How you, how did you get the name? Ah man, it's a long story. All right, my brother Cash. You know what I'm saying? Who I started this rap shit with. You know what I'm saying? Who got me to really take this shit seriously? He gave me the name Young Deuce because at the time I was just like. Super gang baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Super crib shit. But like, <clears throat> after I went to the penitentiary and I came home, I was like, I was really getting, like, taking my shit serious and I didn't want to get taken as no gimmick, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how I look, how they take niggas that partake in gang banging activities, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they make you feel like you're stupid just because you mm. don't have the choice to join the organization, you know what I'm saying? So, I changed the name so I wouldn't be stereotyped. Not so okay. much as change the name, I just abbreviated it. You know what I'm saying? So do you still go by that or you going to keep it with what you got going now? I'm going to keep it with the YD the kid, man. You know, because, it, it, you know, I grew to love it. You know okay. what I'm I grew, I grew to love the person who that made me become. Like, that, that name switch made me grow up a lot. You know what I'm saying? Okay, who did you listen to growing up? Being that you from, you from the north side, right? Yeah. North side. Okay, who did you listen to growing up? Man... A big influence on me, like for as far as like niggas out the north side. No, big, just period. Like, oh, period. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like Wayne, M, Andre 3000, okay. know, Lauren Hill, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn Maroon 5, shit. You know, it's a bunch of motherfuckers. I don't know. I like, like, I don't know. Music speak to me, you know what I'm saying? Just like it do many other people, you know what I'm saying? I feel that. Man, talk about what you got coming 2019, 2020. Oh, 2019, 2020. I just shot a video right. with Cap Liz yesterday for my shout out, my, Cap. My music, uh, my video, uh, pole music, you know what I'm saying? Pole music. Cap Liz, man, you know, pulled up on, we got it knocked out. Interview dropping soon with Cap okay. Liz, too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and uh, also, you know, we got this tape dropping the colors we hear. You know what I'm saying? There's some shit that I'm putting together, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a healthy project, man. It should be ready by. But this year is June, it should be ready by, you know, August, late September at the, at the most. Why the name? Why the name Pole Music? Why, what's the inspiration behind that song? Man, you know, that, that, that Thuga, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That Pole, man, you know, you got to keep you on that, that, that hammer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? There's many names for it, but shit, you know what I'm saying? When niggas speak up on it, niggas know what we're talking about. I feel that, man. Talk about how was it, what was it like linking up with the song with Snooty Wild? Oh man, a lot of kick it, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? I actually got plugged in through my dude because, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Big Cuz over there at the Unclay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but dope. My cousin was at the studio recording with him, you know what I'm saying? My cousin they got killed earlier last late last year, like in December. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He called me up, he was like, Hey, you wanna do a feature with Snooty? I'm here with him right now. And I was like, Yeah. They was like, pull up, I pulled up and that was that, you know what I'm saying? It was it What was what was it like doing this the record with him? Man, like how big guy did you feel about that? I mean, like, like on the inside, I was like jumping up and down because, like, that was, believe it or not, that was actually one of the people who I, I wanted to do a feature with because I actually was an avid listener of his shit when I first came home because I liked what he was talking about. You feel me? Right. So, shit, he was on one. Of, he was on my to do list. Like I, I can vividly remember 2015 telling my little brother, hey. Look, we at work. I say, man, you hear that nigga? I'm gonna get a feature with this man. I right? feel it. And that's I feel what it. it was. I feel it. But, being that you, oh my bad, go ahead. But yeah, like the atmosphere in the yo though, I was just like, 
we equals, nigga, type shit. I feel it, man. Being that you from the city, what you looking to bring different, man? I'm loving the music I've been hearing. I'm loving the good shit I've been hearing. My boy Cal spoke very highly of you, man. Yeah. What you looking to bring different to the city, man? Man, just me, man. I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I guess, you know, you know, like, you know how motherfuckers search their whole life for the missing link? Mm -hmm. The it factor, you know what I'm saying? The shit that just put the cherry on top of the sun that I feel like that's me. Because, like, the rabbit hole goes so deep, you'll really get lost if I invited niggas into, you know what I'm saying, the vast of my mind frame. And that's what I want to do, invite them inside. So, you know, I feel it. Do. I feel it. Do you think it's going to be hard to break as an artist from Texas? Nah, man. I, I already been through the hard part, just going through finding out who to spend the bag with, who to invest in. Like, investing time is like the biggest thing ever, bro. Like, cause you'll never get it back. So mm. like, it's, it's nothing with the money. It's all about the time, bro. Cause when motherfuckers say your dream and tell you like, hey man, this right here is gonna change your life. And you put your all into that moment, them are moments that you'll never get back. Mm. And they just made the bag off of you. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> how do you, how do you handle that type of uh si them type of situations when that do happen? Keep, keep it moving. Okay. Keep it pushing. You know, what I'm saying it ain't no need to add extra negativity to our already negative situation. Everybody that that fucked me over, it's a couple of them right now <laughs> in the city. But everybody that fucked me over that I paid and you didn't up in your heart to the bargain. Just know, bro, when you call me to fuck with you, I'ma need that bag. Bro. I feel that. I'ma need that with bag. That, with that, with that's happening though, let me ask you something, bro. Do, does that make it hard for you to fuck with other artists in the city, or you just don't hold it against nah, other people? I, I, everybody, everybody get that fair shot. Bro. Every everybody, everybody get that fair shot. You know what I'm saying, like. You got one time to fuck me over, man. It's only fair, you know what I'm saying? That first time is my fault, because I invited you in my circle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. You know, that's on me, but you'll never get that chance again. Period. I feel it, man. Talk about how important it is to network and get out there with different artists and producers and people in the city, man. Oh, yeah. Networking is key, man. Without networking, you nobody. I don't give a damn how hot you is. When mm. I first came home, I thought talent was all you needed. I'm rapping mm. and singing, dropping songs like Bryson Tiller, Drake, <laughs> okay. Migos, uh, Sauce Walker, <laughs> whatever, however you want to say. I'm doing okay. it because this is what I'm thinking they like, want it, bro. But right. see, unless you got it, you ain't going to get it, man. You got to go out there and make people love you as a person to create that desire and need for you and what you produce. Man, dope, You're man. Way. I feel it, man. Any advice that you can give to an artist, man? Man, hey. If you not working, brother, or you ain't already got no money or got nobody to invest in you, bro, I advise you to, like, work for five years and stack up before you even try to record your first song because the Damn. business side is way more, you know what I'm saying? That's how a lot, that's why you see people hating their contracts and shit because they not, you know what I'm saying, they not prepared financially for this shit. So when they jump in, they just jumping in to get out the situation that they already created for themselves, thinking that this is gonna change their life. And when they really, they just shining their life away. That's why they be so sad. They do so many drugs because everybody know them. They doing these videos with these chains in this bag and don't got shit to show for them. They go home at night, no friends, no family. No, they be fucked up, man. I feel that. They be fucked up. So, so would you keep it all the way independent or would you sign? I'll sign, but it's gonna be a lawyer prison. I ain't gonna sign the okay. I get myself out of That's it. That's the first time I heard that yeah. one. Nah, yeah, I'll sign, but it's gonna it's gonna be my lawyer be there to make sure like everything is what it's supposed to be because at the end of the day, since I had since it took this long for me to get to where I'm at now, it's like okay, when I go when when they come to me, they gonna be coming to me with this is what we can do for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not what you could do for us. That's it. And that's that's the buzz I'm finna create in 2019. It's just What's 2020 out. looking like for you? Man, 2020 gonna be a movie. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm already planning a tour with my my producer Chase the Weirdo. Okay, you know dope. What I'm saying? And my team and everything. We getting that in the works right now. You know what I'm saying? And we just we just finna try to fuck some shit up. Okay. I'm gonna get on the big stage this year. Well, so I feel that. With, so. so you gonna be at Austin next year? For sure, I try not to miss it. Any upcoming shows, bro? Yeah, I got uh, the Mixer Thursday night at uh, Kiji Smoke Shop. Okay. I got a show Sunday at uh, Skyline, Skyline, Post Line, uh, Skyline Lounge, the mm -hmm. Bar. Mm -hmm. 1960, I got one up there, and that's what we're doing right now. 
You know what I'm saying? Nothing else but right now. So right now, but that's it. Anybody you working with in the city, man, we can expect big things coming from you? Uh, I got a record that I did with Doughboy Sauce on my last tape that really didn't get the justification that it should have because of where I was, so. What you mean, it didn't get the justification? Because, like, I didn't have the money to actually push the song mm -hmm. the way that it needed to be pushed. Don't get me wrong, it's everywhere, but I just didn't have that money to put behind the promotion. Huh? I'ma just revamp it, you know what I'm saying, and drop it again and make it to where it's supposed to be. Cause that it's a great song, you know what I'm saying? My boy Double Boy Sauce, you got my boy Double Boy Sauce to sing on that boy. Mm. Before before just creeping. I'm talking mm. about before you hopped on just creeping, for real, for real. And that shout out to Double Boy Sauce, man, he a real one. He he just fucked with me out of the strength of what he saw when I was performing at Warehouse Live. So. Damn, that's dope, man. Yeah. Let the streets know where they can find the IG, man, the uh, YouTube, Twitter, everything, man, if you don't yeah, mind. Uh, on IG, you can find me at uh, lowercase letters, YD underscore KIDD, Twitter, same thing, Facebook, same thing, Google, same thing. You Google me, all my music going to pop up, all the venues I ever performed at, all that shit, bro, it's real. I feel that. Yeah. Would you, would, do you feel like you have to clout chase in order to break as an artist? Hell no. Nah, okay. Real. With, man. man, that's how a lot of orders, you know, tend to break it nowadays. Yeah, what, what I'm gonna do, go snatch somebody's chain and be <laughs> or something? <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, no. I feel it. Man, I appreciate you for rocking with me, man. Anytime you want to tap in.